All right, guys, so the next tool I want to go over is this red eye correction tool. And to actually show you guys how to use it, I need to have an image that had red eye. And uh, I know I have them in my collection somewhere, but I, it was having, I was having a hard time finding them. So I went online to look for one. I actually found one finally on Wikipedia, quite possibly the most creepy picture that has red eye. Not the most, but uh, sufficiently creepy. So let me show you guys how to actually remove it. It's going to be really simple. Uh, Lightroom does most of the work for you. All you're going to do is you're select your image, and then you're going to select the red, eye reduct, uh, the red eye correction tool. This is actually the only tool in the toolbar that doesn't have a hotkey. So you can either select it from the toolbar in the develop module, or you can select it from the tools menu in the develop module. But you can't select it from the other modules. You need to be in the develop module. There's no hotkey to get to it. Probably because Adobe realized that you guys are shooting more and more, this is going to not really be an issue. Particularly, red eye is caused when uh, you're shooting in really low light, the pupils are wide open, and you're shooting with a flash that's like right next to the lens. So basically like with a point and shoot, and what's happening is that light is going into the eye, it's reflecting off the blood that's in the veins in the back of the eye, and it's coming back out red. Now when you're shooting with professional cameras with uh, uh, attachable flashes, this doesn't happen nearly as often because the flash is actually above the lens. And then when you're going with off-camera flashes, it pretty much never happens. So it's not something you guys are going to be doing a lot unless you're doing a lot of point-and-shoot pictures, but it is good to know. So once we have it selected, all I'm going to do is it says drag from the center of the eye or click to use the current size. So I can either drag from the center of the eye out and then it automatically adjusts or just use the current size that I had set up. So I'm just going to drag from the center and drag out. And then it's going to bring up my red eye correction options. So it'll give me the option to select my pupil size so I can adjust this. And basically you just want to adjust this to a point that it looks OK. Um, regardless of fixing these images, it's still going to have a little bit of creepiness to them. So I'm going to just adjust the uh, pupil size a little bit and then also darken it up a little bit so it kind of deepens the black. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this eye on the left side. Just drag on the left side. And uh, we'll go up a little bit, pretty much the same exact settings. And uh, we still have a pretty creepy picture, but at least it's a little bit less creepy because there is no red eye anymore. So we have reduced our red eye. Those are pretty much the only two options you guys have, is just the pupil size, which is just going to adjust the size of the pupil. And then you have your darken, which is going to control the level of uh, the darkness of the pupil itself. So typically you're going to have it being pretty dark, and typically you're going to have your pupil size being larger. So it doesn't show, because it looks a little bit creepy if you have that like little red ring showing up. So you want it to be a little bit higher. Uh, one thing we haven't gone over yet is on all of the, uh, basically on all the panels over here that we see, we have this little adjust switch. This is, any one of these switches will basically turn on or off all the settings that are within that panel. So if we want to flip off our red eye adjustments, we can hit right there. It's going to flip it off, but it hasn't lost them. It's just turned them off temporarily. I can turn it back on by clicking there. And if I want to reset it for some reason to go back to my ultra creepy picture, I can hit reset. And then uh, we're back to our super creepy red eye picture. So I'm going to delete this now from our library. We no longer need it. And uh, let's go on to the next tutorial.